Hi, my name is Vic, and I wanted to show you something today that I recently learned about and I wanted to share with you on YouTube. I'm pretty happy with the way this product works, and I think, uh, I think you would be too if you bought it. Um, what I'm going to show you here, this is a skid steer tire. It came off of a, uh, a Thomas Bobcat, and uh, uh, I was using it to, um, to move some debris around and some, uh, some work on a construction site. And I ran over a 2x4 with all sorts of nails in it, and uh, pretty much ended up with Swiss cheese on the front left tire of the Bobcat. So um, I was going to take it to uh, a local tire repair store and get the holes fixed and I thought maybe there's a better way to do it. And I thought about fixing my uh, wheelbarrow tire on my wheelbarrow and uh, thought maybe that, that, that green stuff would be good to use in here as well. Well I, I did a little research and uh, in doing so I, I realized that uh, that may be good for my wheelbarrow but uh, it really isn't the kind of heavy duty stuff that you need for, for a tire like this. So. Uh, in doing some, uh, some looking on YouTube and, and other resources online, I came across some videos and there was one that I was really impressed with. That was a product here called Multi-Seal. This is a product made in, um, in Houston, Texas, just outside of Houston. And uh, it's, it's really something that uh, you need to see to believe. Um, what happened is, uh, after I uh, decided I was not going to use the green stuff, I looked around, found a tractor dealer, uh, in the area that sells the stuff. They sell it in five gallon buckets and I wanted to make sure I have enough to do all four wheels. I'm going to show you today how to do that. It's pretty simple to do and what I'm going to show you afterwards on, on the seal that this stuff makes is just really incredible. So uh, first things first, um, I want to find out how much sealant I should put inside my tire. So uh, this product comes with an application chart and inside the application chart I looked up this particular tire and looking down the chart, I found out for a 12, 16, 5 tire, I need 100 ounces of the sealant. So this plunger uh, will pump 8 ounces of sealant every time I push it down. So I need uh, roughly about 12, 12 and a half plunges to get this tire to the, uh, the maximum amount of sealant needed to, uh, to give it a good seal. So in order to do that, you first have to remove um, the valve from the, uh, the valve stem. And uh, I'm going to take care of that with my valve stem removal tool. Uh, before I do that, I want to check my air pressure. Uh, you need to have at least 35 pounds of pressure in the tire before you go ahead and, uh, and actually do the uh, uh, multi-seal inside of it. So I'm going to check this right now. And right now it's about 50, which is much higher than it needs to be. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the core out. As I take this out, the tire will lose pressure. Okay, there's my valve stem. I'm going to take my multi seal. And if I put it on like that, um, it's now sealed in here. Um, what I didn't show you before is uh, I actually primed this hose uh, by pumping this two or three times. When the hose is back in this nozzle here and you go to prime it, it actually recirculates the uh, sealant back into the bucket. So you don't actually lose anything during the prime. Okay, so now that I have uh, my tire pressure at, at 35 pounds, uh, I'm confident I'm ready to start. This particular um, hose has a valve here which I'm going to turn and now it's in line with the hose that means I can actually start my pumping. Uh, I'm going to start pumping this in and when you pump it there's a little secret that I want to share with you and that's to pump it pretty rapidly. You want to get the um, um, multi sealant in there as quick as possible. You don't want to give it a chance to seal up because it'll actually seal the uh, the valve stem itself and you don't want that to happen. So if that does happen, um, in the instructions there's uh, some information on, uh, on how to you know, unplug your, uh, your valve stem, um, but if you pump it fast you won't have that problem happen. So let me go ahead and give it some pumps and I'm not going to go through all of them, I'll just pump it once or twice right now. Okay, once, one more time. And it's important to pull it all the way to the top, okay? Now, I've already primed this before. Now, this is a really tricky part here where you have to make sure you shut the valve off. 
If you don't, all of that pressure will push the sealant back out right at you, and that's going to make a mess of things. So I'm going to get my valve stem ready, okay, and this is ready to go, and I'm going to push that in there when I finish and try to get it back the way it's supposed to. Okay, here we go. My valve is tight now, and I'm going to check my pressure. Okay, I'm at about 30 pounds now, 32 pounds actually, which is pretty good. What I want to do is I want to take my tire, I'm going to bring it down, and I'm going to move the, uh, the sealant back and forth to make sure it's coated evenly inside the tire. Okay, so let's just move this back and forth. I'm going to roll it down here a little bit. I'm going to roll it back. Okay. Okay, for this part of the demo, I, I think you're really going to be impressed with this. This is the original hole that the nail made that uh, caused the problem to, to begin with. It's already been sealed by the multi-seal from the action that we did earlier. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this reaming tool. I'm going to ream a hole make it big again and you're going to hear the air start to come out. I'm going to rotate the tire and by the time I get it back down towards the ground you'll hear that the uh, multi-seal has gone and the sealant has gone back into the hole and completely eliminated the leak. So let's take a look at this. You ready? Here we go. Listen up. And the other thing that this does before I forget is uh, this will actually rough up the edge of the, um, the tire and that will give more gripping strength to the edge of the tire where the multi-seal um, sealant actually is able to grab on. Those fibers can grab onto that uh, sidewall. So here we go. Now you can see that that's in there quite a ways. Listen. Now you can hear that the seal has been made and we're back to where we started. There it is, 100% seal. So. I'm back off to put this tire back on the skid loader and get back to work. Uh, I hope this has been good for you, and uh, thanks for the time. Bye-bye.